It's Shortcut Games, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a text collision box. So that's like, let's just name it Storyline Tutorial, and let's create a project. So what's going to happen is once you get close, the text is going to appear. And then once you exit the sphere, then it's going to just disappear. So once it finishes loading, okay, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is create a new folder. And let's call this story. Uh, let's create a blueprint class and an actor. And I'm going to call this collision story one in case you want to create multiple let's create a widget widget story one okay i'm gonna open up the widget okay here's our widget so now oh i like save on compile so now let's drag out some text size to context and then over here in font, we can change the size. So I'm gonna make this 40. Yeah, it seems about good. Maybe I should try chomping, dot, dot, dot. Put it wherever you want it to put, be on the screen. So I just like in the bottom right corner. So let's anchor it down there, save it. Let's open up the collision box. Let's add a box collision. Just keep the name as box. So then down here, this is the area of effect that you want the story to appear, or the story prompt or whatever. So I'm gonna make mine 100, is that too big? No, it's good. 100 by 100 by 100. That looks like a good size. So now I'm here over here in the event graph, Right click the box, add event, begin overlap, right click it again, add event, and overlap. Let's add a cast to third person character. Let's copy it. Paste it down here. Make other actor the object. So just drag it on to object. Okay. And then let's put create widget and let's call this widget story one over here. Remove from parent, why is there context sensitive? And let's make that the target, the return value. So that way it knows to, to get rid of this widget. And then over here in the end, let's put add to viewport. There we go. And also make the return value the target. Compile and save. Compile and save. So now, if we try dragging this out, play. Okay, I can run around. Blah, blah, blah. Go here. Maybe I should try jumping. And then that's what would happen. You would have to add something for that. And now that's ended today's tutorial. So it's just very, very simple code. I do not believe it will replicate with multiplayer. No, I don't want to launch that. So let me try replicating it as a client. By the way, I have a tutorial for that as well. The link is going to be in the top right corner. And let's see if it's going to replicate. Maybe I should try jumping. Maybe I should try jumping. Does it appear on the other screen? Yeah, it appears on the other screen, and that's going to be a problem. But if you want to, I can make another tutorial on how to do that. Bye.